Hi, Richard Spazano here from Digitally Fearless. And today I'm going to show you how to create these weird characters and any character you want to create with just shapes. Shapes are very powerful. Um, I was a fashion designer and a graphic artist, but I never did people or characters before. And so I started to play around with this and I said, let me see if I can try it. So I started with just faces and I did a few faces and then I decided to do this tutorial. And I'm showing you this now because at the end of the tutorial, this is what I ended up with. So I'm doing, I moved the intro from the end to the beginning. And this is what we'll end up with. So if you're interested in learning how to do something like this with just shapes, please watch and let's get started. So let's open a new file. It's file, new, and I'll just choose photo, the generic, and say OK. Let's start with a shape. So the first shape is an ellipse tool. And that looks pretty good. We want to turn that ellipse tool into some kind of a skin tone. So I don't even know how to get a skin tone. I guess I could select it off of something else. Actually, I think I will. Let's just go to stock photos and type face. And choose any face. It could be dark skinned or light skinned. Um, just since this is the first one here, I'm choosing this. And so, where am I? Go back to layers, bring it back behind. I'm selecting that, and then I'm going to choose somewhere in this skin tone, and that's it. So now we have a skin tone, and I will delete that photo. So the first shape is an ellipse tool. And I'm going to try and use ellipse quite a bit, so let's just do another ellipse. And I'm going to get close up here. And you can't see because um, we have no stroke, so let's give it a stroke. And I just need a small stroke, that's all, I don't need very much. And I actually think that the stroke color should be close to this color. So I'm going to do that, but then I'm going to make it a little bit darker, just to keep it close to what it was. And I think that's pretty good. And actually, I might even give this a stroke. And it doesn't, again, I can just do any kind of a stroke. It looks like that's the same as what I did, so that's good. And I kept the stroke very small. You can make it as large as you want. So. Here we have what we think is going to be the eye, and usually the eye, I'm not really good at drawing. I, just let me tell you right up front, I was a fashion designer and a graphic designer uh, for many, many years in New York City, and I never drew people. So this, that's why I'm creating a caricature, and because I have no idea if I can even do this, I was playing around right before I started recording this, and I said, well, this isn't so bad. I can give it a shot. So this is what I'm doing. So here we have another ellipse, and then we're going to duplicate that. I'm doing Control or Command J to duplicate that layer. And I will hold that Command key down and make it slightly smaller. You can actually do this. And what I'll do there is I will turn that one white. So it gives kind of a little bit of an eyelid and white. Then I'll take that bottom one and duplicate it again. Control Command J. I'm moving that to the top. And when I move that to the top, I'm going to convert it to curves right here up on top. So I convert that to curves. And then I'll use the node tool and I will delete this node and then maybe, whoops, I don't want to do that. If we grab this node here, if we alt click these handles, that side no longer is attached to this part of the curve. So now we can just move that to any point we want like that. So that's pretty good. So there's your eyelid. And we can fix, we'll fix all these later. 
And then as for the actual pupil, I thought I'd try something slightly different. So let's go back to shapes and I'm picking a double star. And let me just do this for now. And I'm holding shift because I want them want it to be perfect. And I'm pl I played around a little bit. I went like this. I moved the ra inner radius like that. And then I, what else did I do? I added a lot of points, something like that, really a lot. And that might be too many, I don't know yet. And so I put that up there, let's see what that is. And bring that in. And let's see, I think the stroke maybe should be darker. Maybe almost close to a black. And also, maybe there's too many points. So let's go back to that. And let's go instead of 48, go a little bit less. And do any other things I can do? Let me see, point radius now. I think that's pretty good. So I, then I went to the effects on that layer. I think I did an outer stroke. Let me see if that worked. And I gave it a color, say, if you wanted blue eyes or something. I don't know. And I brought the radius up. And it's on the outside. And everything should be scaled. By the way, everything we're doing should be scaled. And I don't even know if I did that with all the others. I should make sure everything is scaled. And I still think this looks a little too dark. So maybe less points. Let's see where we're at. And okay, so maybe I need to bring the inner radius smaller. No, not that one. The point, let's see the point one. That's what I needed. Okay, I need to reduce the point radius. So it gives it more of a look of an eye. And then I can actually add more points if I want. So let's do that again. Again, I'm experimenting here. And if you don't like experimental tutorials, <laughs> then don't watch these because I'm learning also as we go along. And sometimes I do things that are really bad and sometimes I don't. So, okay, I think the eye looks pretty decent. I'll make it not so perfect of a circle. And I need to pull that under the eyelid. So that's where we are with that. And I could go more uh, further. I could do eyelashes and all, but I won't right now. So for now, I'm going to select these, the eye there, and do Control or Command G to group it and say eye is, eye is what I'm giving it. And I will duplicate that. I'll hold Alt and move it over. So now we have eyes. So all we did was use shapes at this point. Um, I could go for some lips. So let me think. I could do lips. I think I will take, hmm, let's, get, let's try this segment tool. Let's try something like this. Now remember, it is a caricature. So, and if you wanted, we can give this a little bit of a reddish color, just a little. Almost tannish red like that. We can also duplicate that. Control or Command J. And we can arrange, flip vertically. And we kind of have lips. I think this one should be on top though. Whoops, that was wrong. That was clipped. There we go. And this one should be smaller. Hmm. I'm still not liking the lips. Let's see. Maybe this one should be a little smaller like that. Okay, that's good for a caricature of lips. So let's group that. Control or Command G and type lips. Now I think for the nose, 
this is the one spot I don't think I'm going to use an actual shape. So what I'll do is I'm just going to make three dots. I'm, I'm sorry, three clicks. Click. 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 And click. And give that stroke a little bit of a, just so we can see it for now and kind of put that in the middle and go to the node tool and I think we'll take these two and bring them up like that and how about we bring that a little bit down and that a little bit that way and that a little that way and this one probably more down and maybe further apart like kind of like that uh, let's see. Um, I'm trying to see. Let me get a close up, even closer, so I see what I'm doing here. I don't know how I got that. I put an extra node in there. Let's move this one up. And how about like that? And this one up. And like that. And a little bit more like that. Okay. And then I can do probably a blur. I'm not sure. We'll try it. There we go. So we're giving that a little bit of a blur because we don't really want to see the nose yet. And close that. So here's where we're at so far. The mouth looks a little bit... Okay. So we're going to do some dodge and burn next. So what I want to do is I want to duplicate this ellipse. So let's control or command J. So I have one right on top because later on then I'll get to use the opacity to change some of the dodge and burn and blur it. So I could do like many do non-destructive dodge and burns but what I'll do is because this is just for fun I'm actually going to use the original dodge and burn. So dodge lightens things and burn darkens things. So I am going to choose dodge and I'm going to select midtones. And I'll take a really soft brush, zero hardness. Um, I'm using the standard brushes, so I'm, I'm picking something like really down here. And I think I want it larger, so I'm using my bracket keys. And what I will do is I will start lightening up the midtones in certain areas. For example, the nose, very light, and oh, by the way, in fact, I think that was too strong. I'm going to lower my opacity a little bit because I'd rather just do a few times. So you see how it's a slight difference? I'm getting closer so you can see here. See just a slight difference there, um, maybe over the eyelids here, a little bit on the forehead. I'll go really wide, just touching almost, just to give it a 3D effect. And where else would it be? Maybe on the upper part of the lip, a little bit like this, which kind of gives you that little indent in your lip, which I'll accentuate later. And then I'm going to start burning. Burning means darkening. And I'm trying to, I think even it's still a little bit too much. I should low, lower the opacity, which means I can. So, which means I can do it a few times and make a decision there uh, on how, how much I want to burn. Um, if I'm going to burn, I maybe I say the side of the nose right here. So I like that and even maybe right under the eyes. So it's kind of getting a 3D look. I'll go back to Dodge because I think the cheeks, and I'm just going to tap them. I think the cheekbones need to be higher. I may have even gone too much on that, but we'll see. And let's just bring it out. Oh yeah, it definitely went too much, but I will fix that later on. Um, I think we also need some highlights near the chin. Right there. So that's pretty good. So now, I'll get closer again. 
Now I'm going to call this shading. I'll, I'll just call it dodge burn. How's that? Face. Okay. So now what we can do with this is go to effects and say Gaussian blur and blur. See how I'm blurring the effects? Like just a lot like that. But then I'll preserve the alpha, which means it only stays into that area. And see, that looks much smoother and better. And remember, it is a caricature. We're not expecting it to look like a real person. So um, we just want to have character characters, and later on we'll change these characters and make them funny. And let's see, I don't know, let's, let's figure out how we can do hair. Let's go back to the top. I don't know what this curve, okay, that's the nose curve. I'm just going to type nose so we know what's there. And maybe we'll just put all of this together and group it and call it face. Okay. So now that we have the face, let's try for some hair. I have no idea. Let's see. Let's pick a shape because I promised I'd use shapes. So how about we do the cloud tool? And let's see what the cloud tool looks like. Hmm, that's going to be strange, <laughs> but we'll find out. And I'll even, maybe I'll even keep, I was going to do black hair, but maybe, maybe, just maybe, I will do, we could do a lot. I don't know what else I could do. Let me just check. A little bit like that's not so bad. And let's see how I can make this work. I could use, I could try two of them. Let's duplicate it and see. I could try this if I want to do something like that and then put this above it. Oops, I was clipping it. I don't want it clipped, I want it above it. If I want to do something like that and like that. So let's, let's go with something a little wacky, maybe even this way. How about like this? I think, yeah, I think this is going to work. Let's try it. And I'll fix that later, but let me duplicate that. Control Command J and arrange, flip horizontally, and we're putting it on this side. Okay, so now this should be, I think, larger. Like that. And so let's take all three and do layer geometry add. Okay, so there we go. Now we have some hair and we could distort it a little. Let's see how we can do that. I don't know if we can. No, that's just shrinking it. I don't want to just shrink it. So we could do mesh warp. So let's go to mesh warp and the assistant's telling you that it's turned it into a pixel. We don't care. That's fine. And Mesh Warp can do things like that. We can bring that in. We can bring that up a little bit. How about like that? And like that. Maybe even more. And how about that? Again, this is a caricature. <laughs> it is not an, in any way some good artwork. So I prom you know, that's all. I'm going to just let you know right up front. Oh, I can even lower the corners here if we want. And I think that's actually not too terrible. <laughs> okay, I think I like that. So that's hair. H-A-I-R. So now we have face and we have hair. And I think I'll also group them together and call it head. Now let's pull out and let's see where we're at. Let's move this head up. Now let's go to the rectangle. I'll go like that. And I think the color of the rectangle should be similar to the darker part of the face. Move the rectangle behind. 
and then convert it to curves. And that means now with the node tool, you can do this with a little bit of a indent. Not bad. I, you know what? I didn't know if I can pull this off, but I think this isn't too bad so far. <laughs> so now, okay, so let's put that in with the head. And so let's see if we can get this in there. So now that's all part of the head. So now we have a full head. Now it's time for bodies. So for bodies, I'm going to use maybe the first one. I'm going to use a circle. And let's give it Maybe, uh, I don't know what we could, let's give it a nice color. No, let's go blue. I think blue looks good. And we'll take this blue, and because it's a caricature, I'm not going to do anything in proportion. But you know what I want to do? I want to go back to the neck, and it's still a curve, so we can, oops. So since it's still a curve, we can grab the node tool and bring that down just like that. Okay, that's a better neck. Now let's go back to here and turn that, convert that to curves. Go to the node tool and I want to turn the opacity down. What I'm trying to do right now is to create points where the neckline would be. So there and say there and this one we're going to delete and now we'll pull this down something like that and we could cut that a little bit so the curve doesn't look like the shoulders are completely hunched and then we can bring that back the opacity back up and there's one of the there's the body and we can make that body sorry we can make that body skinny we can make that body fat. We can change where the points are in here, but right now I'm going to leave it right about there. It looks pretty good. And then let's try, hmm, let's try some legs. And of course the legs should be, I would say some kind of flesh tone, maybe lighter. We can put the legs behind that too. And these are pretty bad legs. But again, convert to curves, shouldn't be a problem. And let's see how we can make these legs work. Uh, we can pull this, oops, sorry. We can go to the node tool. We can kind of bring these in a little. Again, I'm trying to make it a caricature, not a real person, please understand that part of it. So how about something like that? And maybe we can add a point here and here. And so then we could move this one a little bit this way and this one a little bit that way. And we'll curve the bottom a little bit. And since we don't have time, this is a whole video, I'm just going to duplicate that. <laughs> oh boy, this is pretty sick. So let's just do this for now. Uh, let's see. Let's, um, right up here, it has transformed and to show you the original point. So I'm just going to move that here so that when we move it, we can move it with like off the shoulder here. And that arm looks really weird, but I'm going to duplicate it and of course flip it because I'm not doing anything fancy here. Whoops, I thought I duplicated it. Oh, I did. Wait a minute. No, I'm going to duplicate it, control command J and then horizontally. There we go. And also Control or Command J, arrange, flip horizontal. Actually, maybe I won't flip that one horizontal. Let's bring that one back and look like that. And then I'll just give her 
or him. I, I think it's a her, so I'm trying. I'm just gonna put a little triangle, something like that, and I'm going to give it the color black, I think. And let's get a close up. And what you could do with a triangle is, I hope, let me see how I'm going to do this. Is it maybe this way? Yes, maybe that way. We can do this, and then we can convert it to curves and kind of pull, whoops, and then go to the node tool and maybe do this. Should be able to do it. There we go. Should be able to do something like this and maybe like that. And we can do that. It's pretty terrible. <laughs> but it's a caricature. So I can even, if I don't want such a pointy tip, because. So now I'm going to duplicate again. Control Command J. Let me put down that it's shoes. S H O E S. Oh, shoe. And then I'll duplicate that. And I'll move that one. Whoops. I thought I did. Oh, I'm on the node tool. Sorry. There we go. So I duplicated it. And now I'll move that one here and maybe give it a little bit of a different angle. So it looks like the person's standing. Okay. I'm okay with that. And maybe another triangle. And this time, the color of the triangle should be this color. And I don't know how to do this. Let's see. Hmm. If we turn the triangle like that, and then convert it to curves, go to the Node tool, I think. No, I think we have to do this and then something like that for the thumb and then maybe this. No, that's not terrible. Okay, I can live with that. For a caricature, I could definitely live with that. I'll move that in a little bit more. And no, maybe that thumb a little bit out. And so now I will remember this is all being done with shapes. So it's, it's just all for fun. So I'm going to duplicate that. I'll, I'll call that one hand. And I will duplicate that. I can just use the Alt key if I want. And then arrange, flip horizontal. And, and that's good. So, whoops, this leg looks a little bit. There we go. And move that foot a little bit there. And let's take a look at what we have so far. So let's take this whole thing and group it and call it character one. All right? And now we'll duplicate that character and call it character two. And let's play with this character. Let's see what we can do. Uh, let's go to maybe the head and let's make the head really narrow and then we can do this and let's make the body maybe we'll use a square instead we'll do take that out and maybe we'll just do something like that give it maybe a red color I've not I haven't done any of these with practice I only played a little on the head so I'm just letting you know right now, I have no clue what I'm doing, but I'm playing as we go along. So let's convert it to curves. Um, go to the node tool. Let's see what we can do. We can do this and this. We can pull this down. Um, I think we need to add another node here and add another node here and pull this down like that. And if we add a node here, we can move this in. Add a node here, we can move, whoops, missed it. We can move that in. Come on, I'm missing it for some reason. There we go. And I'm thinking this person 
should have a very narrow, actually, you know what? Let's make it a blouse. Let's make it a blouse. Or maybe we're making it a man with a muscle T. <laughs> let's make him a man. We're going to switch him. We'll make, let's say, to, I, I don't know if it's a man or a woman. They're uh, generic as far as I'm concerned. But let's say we're going to make him a man so we can do this. And then we'll give him a pair of shorts. Let's do uh, some gym shorts. Let's make the gym shorts, uh, let's see, a gray color, maybe. Okay, why is it not changing? Oh, because I'm on stroke. I was wondering what was going on. Okay, so let's make it maybe a gray color with a black stroke. And let's see how we can do this. Um, I don't know. Convert to curves. No tool. And let's do something like this. Like that. Add another node here. And actually add another node right here. And so it looks like, and then we can always do a little of this kind of thing. And then I'm going to take that and duplicate it. Control Command J, arrange, flip horizontally, and do something like that. And let's see if we could still play with these nodes a little. And let's see, this one, whoops, let's take this and move that like that, kind of like that. He's very stupid looking, but it works. And now I want to take this shirt and make, put it in front of the pants and do something kind of like that. So now that's the man. So we could take his arm and hand. And we can move it around if we'd like. We can move that midpoint somewhere here. And we could change his position. I don't know. I had a selection for some reason, but I don't need it. And then we can go back to the shirt and move that down a little. So I don't need this one anymore. So now we have two characters. Um, we can change, also by the way, we can change the color hair. So where's the hair? Um, in his head, his hair. We can do effects uh, where we are, color overlay. So we can make it black hair. And so now we have a different character. So there's one. Let's shrink them a little. There's two. And now we could do other stuff. I could duplicate this, call it character three, and hide. Um, and we can leave the others open. Okay, so character three, now we can take the head if we want. We can even um, distort the head if we want like that. No, I don't want to do that. Let's take a head. Let's see what we can do with the head. Without the hair, I'm going to just take the face and see if we can warp it a little bit. And that now if you warp it, it's telling you it's a pixel now. So we can kind of decide how we want it to be. We can kind of move it like one of these weird little funny faces. And let's maybe move her down a little bit like that. And maybe kind of with a chin that comes out. Uh, I don't want that to overlap, so let's pull that out a little bit. And then move the chin and give her, him or her or whoever it is, a big chin. And so now we have a completely different face. But now, of course, the hair doesn't work. So let's just... Forget the hair. Let's give it new hair. Maybe we just want um, maybe we just want to scribble some hair in. So let's take a brush 
and I have no idea what I'm going to do with brushes here, so I don't even know what we have here. So let's go to natural brushes and pick something like this and see what happens. I'm just clicking. So this, oops, I don't want to do too much. Okay, so I wanted to make sure it was on a separate layer, which is good. So this person, we never gave anybody ears. We should have given a couple of ears. So if we want, we could add an ear on this one. But I'm just clicking as I go along. I could drag a little if I want to have a little more of a interest and just add to the edges. And then I can use the eraser if I want and get rid of some of this. Maybe even some of that. And I kind of like that. So that's three. We were just able to create three. Actually, I mean, this is wrong too. Let's get rid the neck has to be placed where it needs to be. So I don't even know where the neck is. So I'll hold control or command when I select it. So that's the layer where the neck is. And I think I can, it's still a, so we can even do this kind of a thing where the neck is kind of going like that. And I think that works. And I think the body itself doesn't look, I think the body needs to be much smaller. So how do we do that now? Because I did not separate them, which I should have. So let's say that we take the hand all the way down to, I think that's everything. And I don't know why. I think that somehow the hair is included. And I don't know. I didn't label the hair. So let me undo that and let's find where the hair is. Okay, that's hair right there. H-A-I-R. And the hair should be added to the head. So put the hair with the head right on that one. Okay, so now if we got rid of the head, there we go. And the rest of this could be the body. I'm going to group them. And now let's see what we can do with the body. We can make this a really skinny person. We can even warp it now. Now remember, once you warp it, you can't do anything else with it. It becomes a pixel kind of a guy. It's one pixel, so we can do some kind of a little tiny person like that. And here we can move this in or move the shoulders in a little bit. And whoops, we don't want that. I'm going to grab the corner and maybe a little bit out. A little bit bigger on the bottom. Let's grab that handle and grab this one and get that handle a little bit. And I don't think that's not so bad. So I would have, if I thought about it, changed his shirt before I ended up making it a pixel. But I can always do that. I can use the flood select tool right here and I can duplicate it and then change the color. When I want to change the color, I could do, let's see, um, color. I'm still so used to Photoshop. I, I keep looking for the different kind of things. So I apologize. There we go, color overlay. Actually, the black shirt looks pretty good, but we can give him, actually, I like the black shirt. Let's give him an, uh, maybe a navy shirt. And we should also give it an outline because the red is showing through. Let me get a close-up to show you. The red is showing through underneath, so let's give it an outline. I try to basically stick with uh, shapes on this. I mean, I could do stitching and all of that, but I did not. I was trying to do a whole tutorial on shapes, so uh, that's why I'm not giving them all kinds of stitching and stuff, but. And so let's move that one there. So this could be a dad. This could be the mom. And this could be the child. How's that, huh? 
just like that. Isn't that cute? And there we created the caricatures. So we can actually take this and put them in some kind of background if we want. Let's just say scenery. Even cart cartoon. I don't know if it'll work. Let's see what we got. No. Nope. Uh, let's try Pixabay. I kind of like the way they show it. There we go. Here's some cartoon scenery. Um, hmm. Let's bring that one in, see what happens. And bring it to the back of all of these. And let's see where we are. And I don't want these people in, so really what I'm trying to do, oh, I can leave that one with it. I could do, no. Nope. Something like that. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll take that and I'll rasterize it. And then I will cut this out. And copy it. And then copy it again. And get rid of the big one. And now we'll just do something like this. Whoops. Is that the big one? No, I got I thought I got rid of that. We'll do something like this. And I know there's a caterpillar behind it, but I don't really care. <laughs> so it's it's kind of silly. I can get rid of the caterpillar. You know that you know how to get rid of all that kind of stuff. So here yeah, if you want if you really want me to get rid of the caterpillar, basically Let's just group these together and merge them. Uh, first you group them, control command G, and then rasterize it. And then I can always use the stamp tool, which is a whole nother lesson in itself. And what we'll do is we'll start here. We'll alt click and we'll go here. Oh, that's not good. Let's, let's all click here. And go here and just get rid of this guy All right and like that it's not perfect of course I'm doing this fast I'll do it again here and let's get rid of this guy uh, just something like that we'll all click here all click here and and that's pretty bad scenery but now you see that we can move these guys down and there you go so there's your caricatures, and it was all completely made from shapes. So shapes are powerful tools. Remember what I, said, what I said in the beginning, I do not draw people. I was playing here. I did not know whether this would work, and that's it. So if you like this tutorial, again, it was just for play. I don't take these tutorials seriously. I just play around with them and enjoy it, and that's what you should do. The most important thing is to enjoy what you're doing, and try to play around because even though you may want to start doing one thing or you can't think of something to do, while you're doing something like this, uh, new ideas come into your head. I had no idea what this was going to be in the end. I could I, Right now I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, oh my God, I could do so many more things with this. But of course, we, it would be here all day and I don't want you to be here all day. So if you like it, please click like and subscribe and have a good day.